way forward are dangerous folk. They can take B-list, outmoded licenses like Aliens or Centipede and somehow make them into halfway decent games. They can produce alarmingly high quality downloadable titles for the 3DS and DSiWare download services, two edifices that could certainly use some sprucing up. And, well, Shantae. I was already sold on these jokers. They didn't have to go and add five new levels and a retry function onto a game I'd already paid them for. Modern economics would dictate that you charge at least an extra five bucks for such functionality. Or if we're talking about Capcom, the functionality and bonus levels were already there, you just needed to fork over the cash to actually use them. But we're not better. Gotcha. Checkpoint. If you're wondering what all this switching and police rigmarole is all about, you should check out my original review of Mighty Switch Force back when it made its debut at the end of 2011. The gameplay is the same, but five new bonus levels have been added, bringing the grand total up to 21. They seem to pick up where the game proper left off, with hardcore 2D run and gun and jump really carefully platforming that make Mega Man wet his bright blue metallic cod piece. Those almost ridiculous par times make their return, encouraging the more hardcore among the player base to indulge their speedrunning side. And so as to facilitate these challenge seekers, they've added a retry button under the pause menu so you can do the whole thing over again if you make one mistake. If I mention that those challenge times are brutal, you're not going to sight read a stage and make it even close, so don't even try. Just enjoy the awesome controls and aesthetic, get comfortable with reality shifting platforming, and then, when you're good and ready, subject yourself to that mess. But here's the best part. This is an update, a fix, for some odd value of fix that means make the game 30% longer. What other folks would be charging for is DLC, way forwards just handing out, like so much Halloween candy. As such, it's not going to cost you any more than the original's modest $6 price tag in order to avail yourself of all this fresh platforming. And if you had the sense to buy this game shortly after its release, perhaps because you saw an excellent review of it on CGR Undertow, extolling its virtues and the fact that it looks like a love letter to the prologue stage of Mega Man X, then the new stuff is free. Absolutely free. Don't believe me? Open up your 3DS shop right now, buddy. See that updates available dialogue? Yeah, it knows you want more, so go get more. Don't keep the nice police lady waiting. Show her that the idea of getting new stages for free is freaking awesome. And maybe other companies will follow suit. Maybe. Checkpoint. 